Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing my Pavlov Shack map tier list. And let me tell you guys beforehand, this is my personal opinion. People like to put their opinions down in the comments below. And I appreciate your opinion, but don't tell me how I'm supposed to do the video. You feel me? <laughs> it's 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 my tier list. But anyway, let's jump right into this. Starting off, we have sand. Now sand I actually love this map because it's it's like OG containers which is kind of a mid-sized map easy to get around the mid leads into both A and B site perfectly going mid or right or left it's all good options I think sand is an S tier definitely an S tier next up we have Santorini everybody's big baby everybody loves Santorini and I do too I think I've had a lot of fun on this map but the only problem with Santorini is it is a hard ass map to defend because if you go A site, say you go A site and the attacking team goes B, well great, now you only got like two or three guys over there at B trying to defend the whole team pushing in and they have it locked down and there's like two or three ways you can really get back into the site but by then everybody, it's held down, you lost the round. So it's it's a hard map to defend. and. I don't really like that. I like those maps that are easy to maneuver around and flank the enemy team and get onto site if they have it down. I think Santorini goes in A tier. It's definitely not as good as Sand in my opinion, but it is a great map. I love playing on it. Just that fact of it's hard to defend and easy to attack. I don't like that. It needs to be balanced out. Next up, we have Siberia. Oh no, man. I don't know. Everybody's kind of mixed on this one, man. It's not like people are excited nor sad to play it. It's kind of, you know, mid, but it's like for me personally when i play on this map people are looking through windows throwing grenades across the map just doing all types of stupid shit that i do not like or they're camping in the jail cell looking for you i mean it's just one of those corny maps that i die all the time due to some stupid shit and for that i think i think siberia is probably the worst map in the game in my opinion i know a lot of people will like it sometimes i do like playing on it but every time i play on it is some sweat on there flanking around or going through mid or i just don't like it it's it's campy it's sweaty i don't like that map man next up we have station now i believe they added station in about two updates ago when they added the world war ii map i like station man it, it's it's a nice big map but it's still easy to get around on so there's plenty of ways you can go to flank around get onto site and i like that about the map you know it's it's not like santorini where it's kind of hard to defend you you can really get around on the map i do think it's still one of those really big maps that if it's coming down to a one versus one situation that it's just kind of iffy because the two people are running around looking for each other you know <laughs> it's just it's just stupid you know i don't think it's as good as santorini but it is a b tier definitely better than siberia is next up we have the most overplayed map in the game og containers <laughs> i love this map i i gotta place it s tier everybody knows og containers it would be A tier just because it's overplayed, but I know a lot of people love this map. If we had another map just like Sand and OG Containers, it wouldn't be so overplayed. We need smaller maps in the game because every map that they add tends to be a bigger and bigger map, especially with the new map foundation. But it is an S tier map. It has great spots. It's great for quick rounds. It's pretty much the best map in the game. Um, Sand is my personal favorite but OG containers it's a lot of people's favorites and I like it too I mean when I play it I always have a good time because it's just one of those simple maps kind of like the new town of Pavlov all right next up we have the World War II map Hagvoda Hada I don't know how to pronounce it bro it, it it's, has the most retarded name in the game <laughs> but you know what it is the World War II map this map is is great for long range if you love sniping you love those DMRs all that shit it's nice it even has a little close range area on a site with all the houses you can go in the houses and watch a site and I like that that's it, it kind of puts it up there for me but a lot of times when I play this map it's just somebody trying to snipe you with the deagle or people are missing their shots it's too long for me I don't really like that <laughs> and that's what she said but it's kind of mid for me next up we have bridge 
Now, a bridge is just like the World War II map, except there's no close range. This is all long range. I mean, it's straight across. <laughs> it could be fun. I like TTT on this map, but when I play this map, it's just straight long range. You're, you're going to get shot out of nowhere or miss your shots because the recoil doesn't hit. But it's great for long range. You love sniping, play on this map. But it's not as good as the World War II map, in my opinion. And you're going to have to rank it C. But it's not as bad as Siberia. I hate Siberia, man. It just has all those nasty little peak spots that are just everybody abuses them. All right, next up we have Data Center. Now, Data Center, I have a love-hate relationship with this map. This map is, it, I can have a great game on here or I can have a terrible game. But I do like when you start off, you can go to the left or the right whatever side that you're on attacking or defending and you can peek all the way through the garage and see the enemy team i like that because you can get an early kill off if they're feeling cocky but other than that the long windy hallways always some bullshit always happens but i i like data center it's iffy it's not s tier but it is a tier data center is it's just one of those maps that it's not the best but it is a great map i have good times on it it has plenty of, of ways that you can go to get to either site plenty of areas that you can flank the enemy so i like it it has a lot of verticality to it it has three stories and it's a great map i like it Next up, we have Foundation, the brand new map in the game. Now, I actually like this map. A lot of people don't for some reason. Yeah, I mean, compared to San OG, you know, Santorini Data Center, it doesn't really stack up there. But I like this map. Every time I play it, I do good on it. Bunch of new areas and, you know, with the new guns and the new game modes, it's a perfect map for the game. I like it. Uh, it has a lot of detail, whereas the other maps are missing detail. This one does have a lot of detail on it, which I like. But in terms of gameplay, I'm gonna have to rank this B. It's kind of one of those mid maps, man. It's uh, it's not the best, not the worst, mid. All right, guys, let me know what you thought of my list down below in the comments. I know I'll probably get some hate for Siberia right there, but like I said, this is my personal opinion. Anyways, guys, peace out.